12 year old girl recently diagnosed with scoliosis is using her medical condition to spread awareness about the disease. She has also started a new group to help bring hope to others who may be dealing with the same thing. 23 ABC's Carlos Correa is live in our studio with more on her plans. Carlos. Kylie Cross will be undergoing surgery on her spine in the coming weeks, and she already has a long list of things she wants to accomplish when she gets back on her feet. It's not how 12-year-old Kylie Cross wanted to ring in the new year. I felt alone, and I'm saying, why me? I've already gone through my share of surgeries or injuries. Being diagnosed with scoliosis isn't stopping Kylie from going public with her condition and using her experiences to help others. If you're going through this, you don't have to be alone. Next month, Kylie is undergoing spinal fusion and getting stainless steel rods put on her spine to help straighten out. It will give her the ability to do all the things she used to do on a regular basis. No, I haven't given up on it. I feel as if I if I recover from the surgery fully, I will go back to softball and I will be able to go back to swimming. Kylie plans to work hard on her newly formed nonprofit, Scoliosis Strong, a Kern County awareness and support group for young girls just like her. In Kylie's case, she has an upper curve that has progressed to 53 degrees in a very quick time frame, and she's actually started to develop a second curve, which is now 25 degrees, and her spine is also rotating, which is twisting her upper body so her lungs are restricted, so she's having a lot of breathing problems associated with the curvature of the spine. Kylie finds comfort with her pets and spends a lot of time with them. She wants to pass that same feeling to other girls dealing with scoliosis. The plan is to have a blood drive each spring and a walk each fall, both raising money for programs. There is definitely a reason why this is happening. So let's let's take this situation that has turned us upside down and realize that things could be so much worse. And let's use this to help others so that other young ladies her age don't have to face this. A recent blood drive for Kylie recently brought in more than 30 donors. A second is scheduled for May 2nd. The family has already set up a Facebook and an account solely to collect funds for its new organization. In the studio, Carlos Correa, 23ABC. All right, Carlos, thanks.